family in Campbell River has lost everything after fire gutted their apartment. Flames broke out last night in the ground floor suite where the family's nine-year-old son was playing. The fire quickly spread, forcing dozens of people out onto the street and heavily damaging the building. And CTV's Gord Kerba shows us the community is now pulling together to help the fire victims. Bags of clothing and other personal belongings are stacking up at 99.7 The River. The community is responding to an urgent call for donations. As many of you have heard, uh, family lost everything in a fire. The station is collecting items for families displaced from a fire last night at the Park Place apartment building. Canberra Park Department was uh, received a 911 call for a uh, fire in a four-story uh, apartment building. Responding units uh, found fire showing on the first floor of the building. Campbell River's assistance to those living in the building began immediately after the fire was put out. The blaze began in this first floor unit where a nine-year-old boy was playing. He apparently saw sparks coming from an electrical cord. We aren't clear on what did cause the fire. We've asked for the electrical inspector to join us on our investigation after our preliminary investigation by the RCMP fire investigator and our own. Others in the building quickly jumped into action when they realized a the fire had begun. I could smell the smoke, I touched the door, it wasn't that hot, so I opened it and this big black smoke just belled in. They were scrunched down, I grabbed the kids, told them to get out. I ran back up to the fourth floor when it was just all filled up with smoke and smashed the, uh, the extinguisher out and I grabbed it and started spraying it with the other guy. The family living in the unit where the fire started lost all of their possessions as well as their family cat. Maggie Fox lives right next door. I think my kids are are okay. Um, I guess it's just the neighbor's kids that got everything burnt down and um, pretty much need more than, than um, we do right now. Tenants who live here say there is a fire alarm system in the building and the alarm was ringing last night. The only problem, they say, is there have been so many false alarms in the past that many just didn't heed that alarm. He was laying on the couch and I was getting dinner out of the oven and I says, what's that noise? And he says, it's the fire alarms, but people, it goes off all the time. Yeah, he I says, just that. ignore it. Most of the tenants living on the second, third and fourth floors should be allowed back into the building tonight. Those on the first floor won't be so lucky. Anyone wishing to help out the families in need can contact 99.7 The River. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Campbell River.